Hey guys, Samantha the Card Girl here. I have a very special guest with me. This is Angela Cook. She has her own channel. I know I've uh, talked about her a lot and told you guys to jump on over and check her awesome channel out. She's a very talented card reader as well and um, does uh, performances with hula hoops. Mm -hmm. So yep. uh, very awesome. Um, so we are here, we're going to do a joint, um, the, today's prompt, which is your most sassy tarot deck and your most gentle tarot deck, and why you chose them. So, <laughs> do you want to go first? Do you want me to go first? You can go first. Okay. Why don't we do like a, a the, gentle, the, gentle, the gentle, 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 okay. yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, and if you probably guessed by the background, we are at the Bundy Annex. This is, um, this was the old carriage house to mm -hmm. Harlow Bundy and his wife Elizabeth. Um, they are the first owners of this house built in the 1800s. And then there was one other family after them, whom I have no clue who they were. I don't either. I only <laughs> um, know of them. <laughs> yeah, they, they, are the, they are the spirits inhabiting the house anyway. Mm -hmm. and, and there's things here too. So if you hear something, see something, point it out. Because we are in a haunted location. So <laughs> anyway, my first, um, the gentle deck, de gentle deck I chose was the Angel Tarot. Um, just because, and I know I've featured this before, I feel very repetitive because I show a lot of these nonstop, but they're just so beautiful. And I think what helps it be gentle is the fact that it is a pip deck and then behind the pips you have these beautiful angel wings. Uh, you can't get much more gentle than that. Um, but I did pull an example. Um, so my um, gentle nine of swords gorgeous purple with all these swords pointing down and it's nine of swords for stress so that is my most gentle deck um oh and i also have one more the queen of swords as well she's very warrior um and it says independence like she's ready to to stand up for herself and it's just it's a beautiful beautiful card um there's nothing threatening or scary or you know it's just a beautiful card Okay, so those are my two for my gentle. Okay, so my gentle tarot deck that I picked is the Good Tarot. <laughs> the Good Tarot by Colette Baron reed that was actually gifted to me from Samantha. So it was We're also a gifted tarot deck. So that's the, the, yep. And, of course, it comes with its book again, which is a nice, simple book. So, I can show you guys, too, why the cards. This is the Tower card, and as you know in tarot, that the Tower card can sometimes be really spooky, especially in, like you said, the Rider Tarot is uh -huh. one of my favorite. <laughs> so, this is the Tower card. And there's nothing destructive happening and there, there's, either. there's, no. And then this <laughs> is an Earth card, the Four of Earth, and all of these are just um, a lot of water cards, Justice even is very, very... Whoop. Yeah, well, the, I'm just getting a lot of glare. Yeah. These are high glare cards. Mm -hmm. So this is a very, very soft messenger of fire. Even that, you know, it's a very um, soft water energy deck. So that is my, my gentle deck. Okay. <laughs> All right, and now on to the sassy, uh, most sassy decks. So I chose my... Um, Oh, I'm actually using the box as a stand for my phone as my zombie tarot, um, just because it is really funny. Um, and the examples that I pulled for this are the, and I know I've shown this card, but it's my favorite one. It's hilarious. The Seven of Swords there, you know, she's kicking, <laughs> sacrificing her man to the zombies, and she's all dressed, dressed beautifully with a gun in her hand. Um, and then this kick-ass granny right here. <laughs> and her slippers and her robe and she's got that gun but I wanted to show you the difference here I mean yes they're similar but this one is with the beautiful pastel colors is so much more gentle and she's I she'd blow my head off like <laughs> um and then of course this one a uh, funny story with this one last winter, I was actually sick for two months. And I went to the doctor and got um, antibiotic and was good for a week or two and whatever I had came right back. So I asked this deck, what do I need to do to get better? And this card jumped out. Now if that's not, you know, a newly infected person not saying go back to the doctor, I laughed 
really hard. And I was like, okay, I guess I'll go back to the doctor. So definitely my sassiest deck. No. All right, what's yours, Angela? Okay, so my sassy deck is the Raven Prophecy Tarot deck. As many of you may or may not, depending on, people either love or they're a little spooked by tar uh, ravens. So the Raven Prophecy deck, and it comes with a really nice book that really kind of is is quite bold. And so, as you can see with the comparison to the other deck, this is the tower card that has a lot of fire. <laughs> it does not hold back. And another one is, this is the devil card that's really <laughs> creepy. And also two of my favorite cards that are both very yin-yang, because I have, I have a yin-yang tattoo, is the two of cups and the lovers are both, um, you know, a black and white raven, and then there's the deer there, too. So Beautiful cards. Beautiful cards, but they are quite <laughs> sassy. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> sassy. So, yeah. I'm going to hold it up like she did. Uh -huh. this, this is my sassy, and this is my gentle. Tower and tower. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. So... <laughs> Fire and water. <laughs> yeah, you can't get much more gentle and No. <laughs> but, man. Yeah. All right. So, uh, all right, I guess that is it for this prompt. Thank you guys for joining us. Um, please give this video a huge thumbs up. And like I said, go over and check her channel out. <laughs> I'm going to try to put more out there, I yes. swear. Yeah. I swear. <laughs> Have a good night, guys. Bye. Bye.